Good evening. More than two weeks after being stopped by city police, a local federal judge has paid a fine for an open container summons, but the investigation into the matter isn't over. U.S. District Judge Patricia Minaldi was pulled over on January 23rd after a complaint of erratic driving. Tonight, 7 News investigates what led to the stop and why the case remains open. KPLC's Jaron Jordan is here now with what we found. Cynthia Lake Charles City Attorney Billy Lofton says the case has received a lot of attention, but he calls the incident routine. The 911 call, though, tells a different story. 911, where's your emergency? I'm over on Canal Street here in Lake Charles. Could you connect me to the city police? I think I have an intoxicated driver in front of me. A two-minute 911 call placed at 1.25 p.m. on January 23rd paints a vivid picture of a driver who appears to be drunk. I'm on Canal, Corner Canal in McNeese. The call details every move for approximately four miles. She's weaving all over the road, tried to turn the wrong way onto Interstate 210 on Lake Street, and she's crossing the center line. The caller gives dispatchers a license plate number. Documents obtained by 7 News revealed the driver, later identified as U.S. District Judge Patricia Minaldi, passed through busy intersections and school zones. Still heading towards S.J. Welsh. Yeah, toward S.J. Welsh and Barb, she's crossed center line to the right again. Even coming close to colliding with other vehicles on the road. Oh, wait. Okay. She almost got in a wreck. When the caller is connected with LCPD, the recording ends, but the story continues. Dispatch records show four officers responded. Witnesses say at least one followed Minaldi for less than a mile on Country Club Road. Minaldi stopped in her driveway on Fairway Drive, and she was taken into custody and transported to police headquarters, where she was issued an open container citation. Lake Charles Police have denied our request for dash cam video and recordings of radio traffic, citing a pending investigation. Minaldi paid a fine for that open container violation, which City Attorney Billy Lofton says closes that portion of the case. That open container violation may or may not be dispositive of all of the issues in this case. So the simple explanation of the status is that there is an open file, investigatory file, at the City Police Department relative to this incident. As for why Minaldi didn't face additional charges, police aren't talking, but Lofton says he trusts the police did the right thing. Police officers have uh, a large amount of discretion as it relates to issuing citations. Uh, it happens every day, up and down every street, and um, I trust that they did their job. We wanted to bring those same questions here to Lake Charles Police Headquarters. We wanted to know why an open container citation was given. We wanted to know why the incident is still under investigation. And we wanted to know whether or not a breathalyzer was administered to Minaldi during the initial traffic stop. Now, authorities have just referred us to the original news release from January 24th and have declined to comment any further about what happened. We asked Lofton about the details and what witnesses claim they saw. I'm not being evasive. I just don't have a comment on it. I haven't read it, and I don't have any personal knowledge of whether or not those accusations or allegations are true or not. And so I really don't have a, I'm, I don't have, I'm not in the proper position to comment on it. We contacted Judge Minaldi about what happened. She declined comment, telling us she's paid the ticket and it's over, which may not be the case after all. She's weaving like an F down the road. This is a very routine type incident uh, that the city police department deals with and this incident will be handled just as any other um, person's case. Now as for the open investigation, Lofton did not have a timeline on when it's expected to be complete. As we reported, we've given police and Judge Minaldi an opportunity to talk, but so far no comment. At your service, Jaron Jordan, KPLC 7 News.